Sam from Tool Hut here today. Today's project is a 2013 Dodge Durango. They have replaced the PCM with a new one from the dealer. I'm going to program it with J2534 and show you why you cannot depend on J2534 and Chrysler product. Okay, you're going to open up your J2534 application that you downloaded from Chrysler. You're going to choose your interface. I'm using the Blue Streak iFlash or VCI. It's going to go through an identification process here. It's going to tell me that it was unable to get the VIN purely because it's a blank PCM from the dealer. So I totally expected this to come up. So it's I typed in the VIN number and then uh, I'm going to choose the PCM. I like the topology view better myself. It really doesn't make any difference which view you use. It's just my preference. Of course you have to tell them you've reviewed all the service information. I'm just going to go through the programming sequence here. I have sped up this process uh, for viewing. This was this seemed to take a lot longer than it does with the Ytech. I don't typically use J2534 on something this new, but there's been some discussion that it's gotten better, so I figured I'd give it a try. So it goes through the erasing and then programming. I've tried to capture all the screens of stuff that changes at the top there so but the progress car bar does move across. Uh, the whole process took about eight to ten minutes. I was kind of surprised at how long it took. It tells you to turn the key off then you can turn the key back on. There's about a 20 second delay up between the two there. Tells me my flash process was successful. Now, after you put a PCM in from the dealer and program it, we got to get the VIN number in it. So the process in the YTEC is to go into the WCM or wireless control module or skim module, whatever the vehicle is equipped with, and run the routine called PCM replaced. Now to do this you're going to need the four digit skim code from the dealer from the parts department. So I have the four digit pin number. I'm going to type in that four digit pin number right here. Hit continue. Yes. And it was unable to unlock the WCM. I tried this numerous times with my J2534. <coughs> Now we will run that procedure with the YTEC. Got my YTEC open. We're going to do the same procedure with the YTEC. It looks very similar to the J2534 application. And I'm not knocking the J2534. I just want you to realize that with Chrysler and J2534, I get disappointed more than I get excited. You just can't depend on it. So I do have to type in the VIN number again here. A lot of the same warnings you got with the J2534. I'm going to go to the WCM miscellaneous functions and I'm going to go to PCM replace just like we did in J2534. The pin number didn't change. Type in the same PIN number. Hit continue. Tells you to make sure that it's right, and it is. So then I'll tell you it's correct, and then it'll ask you if that's the right VIN. It writes the VIN, transfers the secret key, which is the important part, and then cycles the ignition key. So, like I say, I wasn't trying to knock the J2534 procedure. I just wanted you to realize that I use the YTEC system. That's the, one of the reasons I use the OE equipment is it rarely lets you down. Uh, it does let you down periodically, but 
typically it's a problem with their site or their server or something like that. So just if you're using J2534 with Chrysler, make sure you got a backup plan. Make sure you got a strategy to get the job done. In, just in case you can't get it done. And as always, thanks for watching. Please sub subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell if you want to be notified as I release new videos. And thumbs ups, thumbs downs. I try to reply to comments the best I can. Have a great day. Stay tuned for the next one.